Hi guys, it's Chris at the Ultimate Recycler and I'm here again to talk about coffee grounds. I seem to be always doing various tests on those and this time we're adding it with shredded paper. So I get all the shredded paper each week from uh, the real estate company over the road. I get all the coffee grounds almost daily, it depends whether they choose to leave them out or not, from the bakery which is also across the road, so very convenient. Beautiful natural resources that previous to me collecting these, they used to go to landfill. So I've done various tests and if you search through my channel there's lots of them concerning worms and composting. Now this washing machine barrel, it's a stainless steel one. Uh, I did a hot composting grass experiment in this one which worked very well. But what I'm going to do this time is just a really simple long-term composting slash maybe worm experiment we'll just see how it goes um, I've just set it directly on the ground here and it just actually happens to be right next to a tank where I feed a lot of scraps and the worm population in this tank is quite huge as you can see and that's just a totally uh, no care worm farm it's just where I tip extra stuff and I did a video on that as well but anyway this barrel is sitting on the dirt I'll put a little bit of topsoil in that hole at the bottom just to fill up the air cavity but it also has holes right around the base. Now I'm going to put half a bag, about half of that tub of coffee grounds in the bottom and then we're going to go half a box of shredded paper and then more coffee grounds, more shredded paper, more coffee grounds and layer it right up to the top. Now I'm not going to dig through it, I'm not going to mix it up, I'm just going to layer it. Then I'm going to put a couple of cotton towels I have here, some old cotton towels, on top as a kind of a doona. And I'll keep them damp and that's all I'm going to do. And I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. Uh, coffee grounds are considered a nitrogen, so they will probably heat up a little bit. And the paper is um, considered a carbon source. So the whole thing probably may heat up a little bit for a start and I will monitor it with a thermometer for the first week or two and then it'll settle down. It will get some airflow through the vents but I'm not going to interfere, I'm just going to leave it go. So it will develop bacteria uh, and I would imagine as it rots down and as it no longer heats the worms will possibly come in from the bottom and work their way up through it. So look this may be a six month experiment we'll just see how it goes i'll check it every so often but for the first week or two i'll keep an eye on the temperature and then we'll just leave it sit and it will reduce in quantity i'm not going to top it up i'll just leave the towels on top and after six months we'll tip it out and see what we've got so there's a little bit of garden soil just in the bottom just to fill up that cavity so now we'll add some coffee grounds about half of that And now some shredded paper. About half of that box full. And we might just spray a little bit of water in that just to dampen them down on each layer of the paper. There we go, just to provide a little bit of moisture. I would imagine it's going to soak it up anyway from either the, underneath the ground or through the top. So that's full enough. It um, was four bags of coffee grounds and a similar amount of boxes of shredded paper. And as I said before, I gave the paper a bit of a spray each time just to keep some dampness in there. It's clearly going to sink down as the paper kind of rots, but uh, we'll leave it. And I've got enough room there to put a couple of damp towels on the top. So I'll spread them around like a, a bit of a doona to stop it drying out. And um, I'll give it a spray regularly to keep it damp and we'll monitor it for a little bit with the temperature and then we'll see what we have in six months time. So just one day later, just to check the temperature, it has warmed up a bit. It's just getting into the active zone there which is oh, 100 degrees Fahrenheit or oh, 38 I think. And it's only a mild day here so it's certainly warmed up a bit but I don't expect it to do much because of the 
the size of the tub and uh, there's only really coffee grounds and paper as you saw so there's not things like grass clippings that do generate a lot more heat so I won't report in unless there's any dramatic change and we'll maybe check it in a month or two and uh, we'll just see how it goes just another follow up here it's uh, only been a week since we last did it but I just thought I'd show you that it has got fairly hot um, and this is a week later so it's sort of been fairly sustained uh, but the coffee grounds obviously being a nitrogen are doing that and also this um, washing machine tub is nicely aerated and that will prolong the the cooking process and I, uh, I did an experiment with grass clippings and that certainly showed that aeration helps keep the heat going much longer rather than just a couple of days so it'll gradually cool off now it's already slumped down a little bit uh, and as it cools right down, I'd expect the worms to probably get in underneath. So we'll leave it now for quite a while unless I've got something to report. Okay guys, what's been a couple of seconds for you has been three months for me. Uh, I haven't checked, well I have kept a bit of an eye on this experiment, but I haven't really had a look other than noticed that it's slumped down quite a lot. The level is now probably half of that barrel. So our coffee grounds slash shredded paper lasagna has um has really slumped down a lot we've had a fair bit of rain it's i started this back in january it's now just into may so it's a bit over three months um and we've had quite a lot of rain it's been a very wet autumn here so i haven't had to do anything at all with this as you can see there's some debris from the trees nearby um but a couple of times I've had a quick peek and there is some activity there you go that's the first time I've looked today so there's worms have come up through it there's clearly no issues with high acidity which some people claim the coffee grounds will do uh, spent coffee grounds are pretty much pH neutral so there's clearly no issues there the worms are obviously getting into it but I'm not going to disturb it anymore I am tempted to tip it out and see what's going on underneath but I did say at the start, well, there's a bit of mould under there. I did say at the start we're going to do this as a six month experiment. So we'll leave it go. It still looks like, yeah, it's a bit hard to tell, it still looks like coffee grounds type material. But um, we will leave it go for the full six months, then I'll upend the barrel. We'll have a look what we've got. There's not going to be as much volume, obviously, as what we started with. But. Um, Look, it's pretty cool that this is happening with absolutely no input from me. I would have perhaps given it a little bit of a water every so often if we had had a dry year, but I honestly haven't even done that. It's been damp enough, as you can see from all my weeds coming up around here. We've had uh, It's still warm enough for all the weeds to grow, so it's been a really good autumn. Anyway, we'll leave this for a further three months, or probably about two and a half months now, and then we'll tip it out and see what we've got and uh, it'll be interesting to see exactly the final product which was just purely spent coffee grounds and shredded paper so it's been just over six months time to wind this experiment up i've cleaned away a bit of an area here and got a, a large piece of core flute down there some just some plastic sheeting and we can tip this barrel out and long last and see what's been going on uh, it's clearly it's really been the the easiest experiment I've done it's been a real set and forget type thing uh, which is good I'm not doing the work the worms are so we'll lift these towels off uh, we're coming out of winter now and it's been oh look at that we've got worms straight away it's been um hang on there's heaps of worms still on the towel there I might just plonk them in that spot because they can work their way under there uh, it's been a fairly damp wet winter it's been quite cold and we're just coming out of it now. Today's a bit like spring, which is great. But, oh, this is looking great. So our test has, as I said, it's gone very easily. I haven't had to do anything. The level of the barrel, I reckon we're down to a quarter. It's really condensed down. So we'll just roll it over for a start and see what's underneath. Oh, it's almost, I think it's stuck to the ground. Here we go. All right, so there's worms underneath. You can see where they've come up into the barrel. All right, I'll put the phone down and we'll tip the actual barrel out and empty the contents.
All right, it's really compacted down. It was quite heavy. And this is um, quite gluggy. There's certainly worms amongst it, right in it. I think it's gone a little bit anaerobic in the middle because it's really condensed down and there's been no oxygen getting in there. Almost looks like a chocolate pudding. And you can see the layers of paper are still there. So the centre hasn't really been touched. You can see our lasagna layers. But around the edges, look at that, the worms have been getting in there beautifully. And I think now that we've opened it out and let some oxygen in, or maybe it's a chocolate ripple cake. If it smelt a bit differently, I'd be tempted to eat it, but it doesn't quite smell that delightful. But around the edges, the worms are really thick. So what we've got here is, is we've still got the coffee grounds and paper residue, but the worms have moved in nicely and they're gradually going to convert it to soil. And it's very sticky and gluggy, as I said. So I think once it dries out and gets a bit of air through it, the worms will just go ballistic and they'll turn it into soil really quickly. So what I'm going to do, yeah, they're looking great. There's lots in there. Lots of little ones too. I'm going to shovel this on top of one of my compost bins and uh, I'll dig it over a bit. And I reckon within a week or two, it'll just be incorporated into the, uh, the compost and this, the worms will continue to work into it. And as I said, now I've got some oxygen into it. It's, uh, it's great. So our waste products of coffee grounds and shredded paper have pretty much turned, in, turned into a, a nutritional dessert, I guess, seeing so I've been thinking along those lines. And uh, it's going to end up beautiful soil for the garden. So I think that worked quite well. Um, it probably would have gone a little quicker if I had have maybe aerated it during the course of the experiment. The barrel certainly works fine. The stainless steel stays nice and clean. You could also do this experiment with a plastic washing machine barrel. I've got quite a lot of these. They're a very heavy plastic and they're aerated as well. Large hole in the bottom. So the worms certainly came up from the, so from the, the natural soil. Uh, and I reckon that's a good experiment because we've turned otherwise waste products into um, a long way towards being really nice, nutritious soil. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I think if I, I might round up all my other barrels because I have a good supply of the coffee grounds and paper. And I reckon if I put a line of barrels along a fence and every week had one full, that say I'd need 26 barrels. And by the time we get to the six month mark, I could tip one out and uh, then start that one again and have a constant rotation of, of barrels and process all this shredded paper and coffee grounds and then at this stage it will go beautifully in my compost bins so all right Hank, i hope you got something out of that i like doing these long-term experiments and it's all about learning so look out for my next worm slash compost video you never know what i'll be doing catch you later